Hello, and welcome to Hosting TV. What are you up to? I am going to be wiring in a camera. So I've decided because it's so wet outside that you're covered in vapor, 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 so basically, right in the middle of the check. But as you guys know that there are some new fast tracks here. One next, yeah. Uh, we, so we've changed the sort of cameras, haven't we? Same cameras. Well, we yeah, changed the sort, the same brand. Yeah. But, but how they work is different. Yeah, so no, we haven't got a separate screen. Everything runs through the screen on the fast track. Yeah. Which means now we're not going for all, so we aren't having the Bluetooth. No, so now it's joined into the back of the tractor. Yeah. So, what HRS is doing is putting the wires in. So we can work. Yeah, basically. Yeah, just got to remember to unclick the one and take the trailers. But where do you get the cab cams from? Paper Matic. Paper Matic. We didn't know this recently. Vapor Maddock. I was actually based in Exeter, which I never knew. Yeah, Literally I didn't know that either. So and we've used a few of their stuff now, and it's really, really good stuff. If you watched our last video, where we went up to the Southwest Machinery Show, yeah. um, they were up there, and that's where we bumped into them. Yeah. And had a really good chat, uh, but neither of one of us knew they were in Devon. No, I didn't. So, Who knew? Devon! Yeah. And Chris Lee, Devon! Yeah, all Devon. All Devon. Got it through the hole. <laughs> That's what she says. <laughs> How's cable tying going? Hey. How's cable tying going? Finley. Finley. Yeah. HRS have brought back more supplies. <whistles> Off it goes. Hopefully, you don't tip it over. So it's at a fair angle. The ties in the main chest. The big tail end under. Adam's little tail end under. Uh, big boss man is this area, which means I haven't done this for a while. I've got to go bring straw down, ready for the process tomorrow. The T5. So we're first thing, I need to set spikes. It's interesting because we only have one implement actually full. Loaded automatic trip. Get all the water out of the spike, which seems to be absolutely full for the wind. I actually thought there's caps on the top. Good thing is, for a loader tractor, boom speed is lovely. So, again, I keep getting asked what was wrong with the door. New Orleans, basically. Moisture or moisture of water had got into the ECU. And to get into the ECU basically corroded it, which then, as you can imagine, it just went compute said no. So we couldn't turn it on, couldn't operate a loader because loader's electric, uh, couldn't basically do anything. So that's why we had loaded on the back of a low loader and we did it for Taylor Dutchman. certain comments, if you think of the tolerance of a pin, the big pin, right, most of the tolerance you can use for like towing, you know, a lot, like you've got to easily be thinking 10, 15, 20 tons, then arguably yes, the little pin, then arguably you could say the little pin could break, but it didn't, okay, but for the that was possibly put forward to us of using a large wood 
piece of timber, I'd use that to put something on. I personally would say our idea of having two in, two vehicles basically set together would be the better choice. Ideally, ideally, if we had a solid bar, which is something that we actually think we're going to make, is have a solid bar that would go straight through both, so there's zero movement. Now that would be the answer, but the general consensus of having both of them stuck together is way more safer than some of the other options, if that makes sense. So, yeah, that's what we did. But anyway, T5 is all good now. Thankfully. First of all, all day, I've been meaning to get to this, and my fingers crossing it, it doesn't rain, so I've got this bag, and then hit the drive, and then if the weather can do whatever it wants. But ideally, we'd like to not, not, have wet straw going. So just, it's not the worst thing in the world, but you know, if you don't have to have the moisture in, in the product, that is, I've had arguments in the past of what's faster to load bales, tractor or telehandler. And I've got to say, without even starting the job, 100% telehandler. It's like little things like that. I've just got to pick up three bales and the spikes going straight through. That's not going to work. Um, things haven't been left dead straight for me, which is awfully annoying. So, I don't pick up twos, by the sense, not threes. And also with a telehandler, you can work the throttle differently. Tractor need to set the throttle up. Telehandler, I wouldn't have to shunt like this. I would have already put these two bales down for this space. I'm now currently in my third shunt. The rain is trying to come. So, yeah. Anyone want to argue fact with me? Boy, the hands down, Teddy and the way faster. Seems I've got a bit of a soft tire, so I'm not going to be putting the top bales on there. I'm just going to go with it as is. I haven't got to go very far, but it looks like I might have a slow puncher. As I definitely can't unload this fast with the tractor, I've opted for the tent handler because it is starting to drizzle and I want this in here safe and dry ready for a full on day tomorrow. So, it's a case of just whipping it off now. Well, tell you, Anna, because you've just got the two pedals, so you can just operate it so much easier. The T5 constantly wants to jump down a gear, Telehandler, and that's like, don't knock the T5 in your own or any other tractor, it's like just tractors alike, you know. Telehandler, we just leave it in drive, so she goes up and down her gears by herself. Which just speeds 
everything up. And four wheel steer just means nothing can really compete. Because you are exactly where you want to be pretty much every time. It's not often I ever have to shunt too much with any other. Get this lot off, get this lot in, and I've got a bloody great load of time. So somehow, my last clip of this video hasn't recorded. So I'm, this is why I'm here now. So all I can say is thank you very much for watching. See, we will see you in the next one. If you haven't done so, please hit the subscribe ring bell. That would be most appreciated. And subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. I'm all over the place right now. It's been a long week. Uh, and I'm just editing this. So... If you want to find any more of us, you can find it in Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, and Twitter. And hopefully, my job after this is figuring out how the new mics work. So, next video should be new mics.